This is an explanation of the data that we collected for experiment 9.2. In this experiment, we were trying to show that plants store starch as their food. So we started with our first control, which is this piece of bread. Now we all know that bread has starch in it. And when I place the iodine on top of it here, we see that it it turned it a very dark blue color to show the presence of starch. So item number one for your write-up is bread, and you would draw a picture of this. Now the second item that we looked at, which is another control, is that of cheese. Now we all know that cheese does not contain starch, and as you can see here, I did put some iodine on this, but it didn't turn any part of the cheese this dark blue like it did the bread because there isn't any starch in cheese. So these are our two controls to show us that this, when, when, the, uh, when the item contains starch, the iodine turns it very dark blue. When the item doesn't contain starch, we don't see any change of color. So now we go to our third item, which is the potato. And I put quite a bit of iodine on this, and you can see that it definitely shows that this plant, this potato, has stored starch as its food because the starch that's in the potato is turned this dark brown, dark black or dark blue um, because of the iodine. Our fourth item in this experiment is this lettuce leaf. Now this didn't turn out as great as I wish it would have, but still we can see that the iodine um, did turn not as dark as the potato or the bread, but it still turned the lettuce leaf a little bit darker, which shows that there is starch in the lettuce leaf um, because that is where plants store, they store their food in the starch and the iodine was showing that presence of starch.